G'day! In today's video, I'm opening up a Lenovo Yoga 720-15 IKB. And this particular one is getting an SSD upgrade. Now, I'm not actually sure what model is in here to begin with, but we will be going up to a one terabyte for this video. Now, I don't know if it's NVMe or 2.5 inch, but we'll soon find out. So to begin with, let's first find out what kind of screws we're going to need to get this apart. So to begin with, where are we? What are these star threes? Let's see. Nope. Let's say it's probably no. This one here looks closer. Nope. All right. Bingo. We are a T4. So to begin with, we're going to need a T4 screwdriver that I have now got. And we'll proceed to take out the screws from there. Now while I'm in there, I may check out how much RAM is in here. Also, just what's upgradable, what's not. And we'll find out soon enough. So, so far those back screws have been longer than the front screws. I'm assuming the ones at the very front are going to be the shortest of the bunch. But let's see what we can upgrade. The back looks like it's metal, but I'm pretty certain it is plastic. Someone's originally made in 2017. So it is not really a new model. This particular one does have a 1050 2 gig model that's graphics and an i7 7700. Uh, there we go. That's got us in. That's lifted up ridiculously easy. So I'd say this has been opened before. Now that we're in here, let's see what we can see. We zoom in. What have we got? To begin with, we've got a, what are we here battery wise? A 70 watt hour battery, which is actually pretty all right. I'm gonna to wanna to disconnect the battery itself. Now these are always a pain to disconnect as there's no real Easy method for it. There we go. Two fingernails on each side, pulling back, and we're in. So as we can see over here, a 70 watt hour battery. Under here, I'm assuming is some RAM. So let's get this off. And let's see. What have we got? We've got a eight gig stick of DDR4 in there at the present. Now. I'm not really seeing anywhere on here that looks like there's extra RAM, so that may be the only stick. But if we were to upgrade it, we'll pull these tabs out. The RAM slots up like so. And then from there, we can pull out. As you can see in the middle there, there's a notch right here. So when you go to reinsert the new stick, you should be able to slide it in like so. Pull down, should click into position from there. Now I'll leave that metal cover off. Ooh. I'll put it back on. So we just need to line it up at all angles as these bits are clips to kind of clamp it into position. It's a matter of lining all of them up and pushing down. The fans themselves do look uh, say fairly similar. No, so each fan is a different fan and a different model of fan. If we go over here, we need to look to have one NVMe drive which is probably also going to be T4 if we're lucky. Nope, we are not T4. We are very butchered, and that's what we are. That screw doesn't look very healthy at all. Take this out again. Let's see. Nope. Okay, I don't believe that's the right screw for it, but it is turning it. 
main relay. Certainly not. So take this out. What have we got here? We have got a drive from 2018, 256 gig, assumably. Also on this model, I'm seeing no, no way to upgrade this to a, it's breaking off in the back here. No way to upgrade this to a 2.5 inch drive or being able to add in a 2.5 inch drive. So we won't be doing that. But we will be adding a WD Blue into there. So what I'm gonna also be doing after I finish this is reinstalling Windows 11 onto this particular machine. So I'm gonna slide this in like so. Similar to the RAM, you gotta go in on a certain angle and then push in, push down, and then put your screw back in. And that should replace that particular one. While I'm here, I'm just looking to see what I would need to do to upgrade the, well, to replace the thermal paste. Now that we've got our WD Blue installed in there. What I'm going to do now is take off the cooler. So do note that battery is still disconnected. It should be the matter of removing all these screws here. Now I'm not sure if we will have to disconnect the fans as well or if the fans will happily stay there. We'll see what happens with that. We'll see. Lift this up slightly. Now I'd say we have to leave, take the fans with it. So I'll undo uh, this screw right at the very top. One, two, three, four, and five. Now with all those screws disconnected, I'm probably gonna have to disconnect the fans. So we'll be able to pull, grab and pull, and grab and push up. That's been a bit stubborn, so I'll use a pair of tweezers just to lightly push it. And from here, if we're lucky, it will want to leave. There we go. So you can see it has had thermal paste replaced on there. So that one looks very unhealthy. It's gone everywhere on there, so that has been replaced at some stage. I'm gonna use some isopropyl and a tissue. Very much overboard on that, I'd say. Granted, I like a sufficient amount of thermal paste, but something like that to me is just way too much. Working our way up here onto the GPU, we'll do a similar thing. Looking a bit better. Don't forget the toothbrush. Okay, so I'm a fair bit happier with that now. One last clean. Over here. Let's give these a clean too. Okay, that cleans pretty bad, but it's only on a freaking bit of tape. There we go. Also, while you're doing this, I don't recommend doing it on top of your main board. It's just for the sake of this video, it makes it a lot easier for me to show that. Being a space is quite limited on my workbench. I'd 
say in this particular instance, I'm not really expecting thermals to really change too much as it did have a sufficient amount of cooling on there. Just, I didn't really like how it was covering everything and I'm already in here, might as well replace it. So what I'm gonna to use to replace it with is um, Arctic Silver 5, made real low. Put a good bead on there. Spread it around a nice circle. That should be pretty sufficient. Same with it over here on the CPU. There we go. Now from here should be right to reinstall the cooler. And also the fans themselves. The requirements look to be very similar, but are slightly different models. This one's CO20, this one's CO10, written there. And with our thermal paste replaced, we should be right to reinstall everything from here. Line that up. Another upgrade you may potentially want to do is the wireless card. In this instance, I'm not going to, but I probably will change that in time. Yeah, it's a matter of putting our screws back in. All good. Next up, uh, these ones. Zoom out a bit more. Next up is the fan screws. One, two, three, four, and five. So as mentioned from here, I'm going to reconnect the battery just down here. Then I'll be right to re finish up the reassembly process. So I should just be able to slide that back a little bit, hold it over, push it forward a little bit further again. And we're connected now. So overall in summary, what can be replaced in here? In this particular model of machine, we can replace the battery the sodium, a single sodium slot, the NVMe SSD, fans if required, thermal paste, we can replace the wireless card, we can replace the charger port as it is only a replaceable cord, it's not soldered directly onto the main board. So it is a reasonably upgradable machine if you do require that. Now I'm going to put the bottom cover back on. We'll be removing some stickers off it a bit later, but that's a bit irrelevant to this particular video. There we go. And do remember, across the top here is our three large screws, our three T4 large screws, and the rest are all the same size. There we go. So I'm going to leave you guys here. I'm going to keep putting these screws in, and I hope this particular video has helped you. I'll catch you later. Bye. Hello. Hi, how are you going? Fine, yourself? Not too bad. What, what can I help you with? Shit, I'll skip my mask, sorry. No worries, I'll put mine on in just a second also.